we are currently being oppressed, right? Wait, I'm, let me explain. Let me explain. Who do we have to go to to get something to eat? Who do we got to go to? Who owns the stores? Who owns it? Like, who owns Walmart? Who owns Walmart? The government don't own Walmart. We know who. I'm saying, who? Okay, I'll walk with you. Who runs the government? Who created the government? Who did that? What group of people created the government? What group of people created the government? Wait, look. I know it couldn't be Pico people because Pico people didn't have nothing to do with it. Pico people was fighting up against the Spanish. Hold on. Wait, I'm going to tell you something. They genocided the Native Americans. Right, no, I'm not disagreeing with that. I agree. Hispanics, Caucasians, so okay. Arabs, Asians yes. okay. have all been the enemies of my people and okay. of, so of Pico's people as well. Question. So do you believe that in today's society we are still your enemies? Yes. I don't have to question anything because I know the most high is going to provide for me. And I don't really care what man think Cause most times they not even gonna ride for me People be shocked when you change for the better But this the beginning so I'm mad at my pressure And I ain't never letting up No, I ain't never letting up I have to tell you an unfortunate statistic That seven to eight times more than white on black crime Is mm -hmm. black on black crime And the way that you, huh? Okay, that's true so this is the thing I'm Jesus Christ told me to love my enemies. Wait, 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 wait. I want to do this. I'm telling you. I got a little enemy on my people, though. No, you're right. But I'm saying that your people are slaughtering your people. Who created black on black crime? Who created that term? Huh? Who created the term black on black crime? Why is there no such thing as white on white crime? There is. Why is no such thing as Asian on Asian crime? Why they don't talk about Asian on Asian crime, Nathan, Arab on Arab crime? Listen, it, on, let me ask you a statistic though. According to the statistics, the people that you're gonna be around in proximity, you're more than likely to commit crimes on them anyway, cause that's who you're around. Literally. Right. Just to address your statistic. I just want to put that on the record. Right. And then where do we learn their behavior from? Is a whole nother thing. It was not me. I've never murdered somebody in my life. I've never I didn't get, I say stolen. You? No, but I you're saying you. my people. Hey, maybe you heard of Willie Lynch? Hold on. And then have you heard of Willie Lynch? Who? Willie Lynch. I've heard of Lynch. Willie Lynch. No. Have you ever heard of the Willie Lynch letter? No. See? See what I'm saying? So she don't understand the conditioning that's been done to so-called blacks and Hispanics. Wait, wait, she don't know. I'm finna address it. I'm finna address it. Can I address it? Lauren, okay. you can't interrupt me in the middle of my speech. I ain't interrupt you. Lauren, really I just let you finish. Okay, continue. Now, it's a such thing as a Willie Lynch letter. We know about the Willie Lynch letter, right? And what's contained in there, a Caucasian, might I add. And he came up with a letter and he formulated how to keep the Negro in slavery after he's off the plantation. But how do we keep him being a slave? Yeah. Right? And now he did work 100, 200 years down the line. And he said it's going to work for 200, 300 years yeah. later. Right? Showing you that this oppression is going to still be going on. Well, but we ain't oppressed. But some of the things that we that he wrote about were the, the dark skin was going to hate the light skin. Yeah. Pin them against each other. But don't, don't we have a such thing in our community as black Dark skin against the light skin? Uh, but what did we learn that from? Willie Lynch. Lynch. Now, hold on, wait. Okay. Now we got, you put the skinny one against the fat one, right? Where do we get that from? Don't we do that right now? Uh, we learned that from the oppressor. Uh, Ironically, somehow, some way, uh, everything negative that we think we learn from our oppressor in his way to keep us in slavery well after we came off the plantation. Yes. You do. Well, I reject that terminology because, again, back to generation. You're the descendant of the oppressor, so that's what I'm saying. But I, I reject that lineage in the name of Jesus. I don't have to accept that. You can't that reject who you're from. I can't. That is not my birthright. The birthright of Jesus is my birthright. Wait, wait, wait. But you have a literal biblical ethnicity, though. Right, but this is the thing. I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm not fucking in my life, but I'm saying I'm saying I'm you got a biblical ethnicity. Right, but I'm ethnicity. rejecting. that 
and she's the ethnicity, right? But they she has a she has a biblical ethnicity. She okay. has a biblical ethnicity. Okay, Galatians 3.28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor this, free. There I is neither it. male nor female, for you it. are all one. Are you Greek? So you're one with her. Are you Greek? So you are you Greek? Are you Greek? Are you Greek? Are you Greek? In the name no. of Jesus. That's the so what's the point of even Greek? That's the point. What he's saying is, what he's saying is, it doesn't matter wait, who you, what you. Wait, 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 if you're intellectually honest, you can answer. Every time I try to answer, then he tell me I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to understand. We out here teaching about, but somehow, some way, he think he's teaching us something that we ain't read. No, like we listen. haven't read it. Uh, we literally read it. The Bible say continue for the faith. Right, you got to continue for the faith because it can only be one truth, the truth, right? Let me I'm just like, like, when I read this scripture, this is just me. I, this, this is just me. I, this, this is just me. I, this, this is just me. When I read that, it says, there is neither Jew nor Greek, you know what I'm saying? And I know you may say, are you Jew or Greek? No, I'm not a Jew or Greek. I, well, like, I know you said words of Jesus or whatever. So what I'm saying is, like, I'm a Mexican. What I'll get from that is that it's not just saying, okay, unless you're a Jew or Greek, it applies to you. But I think what you're saying is, no matter what you are, what you think, he's saying. What you think, he's saying. That's what you just said. This is what you think, you see. Absolutely. Okay, you're interpreting this. Yeah, you're interpreting I'm telling okay, I'm being intellectually honest. I just want that for the yeah. camera. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Because the Bible says, the Bible says we're all one in Christ. Who did Christ come to save? Out of his own mouth. Out of his own mouth. The world. That's the Old Testament. No, I'm going to read it. I said, what did, who did Christ say he came to yeah. save the out world. of his own mouth? The world. He so died for the world. Give me Matthew 15. He gave his only son. Yeah. You already there? Jesus Christ wouldn't contradict himself, right? Wait, 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 wait. Jesus Christ wouldn't contradict himself, right? Can we read what Jesus Christ said? All right, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Start up a little bit for context sake, because I love the context of this, right? Yeah, he did. 22. Now, uh, uh, 21. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 21. Bring it out. Then, then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. And so this Canaanite, this a woman of Canaan, meaning she's not a child of Israel. Wait, she's not a child of Israel. And she's a Gentile. Now I'm saying she's a Gentile, right? She's a Gentile, right? Okay, cool. Wait. We're gonna get to it. I know we're gonna we gonna get to it. I'm just saying, this is a Gentile. She believed on Christ. Keep going. And cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. So she came to Christ. She called him Lord and everything. That means she had belief and faith in him, right? Okay, keep going. Verse 23. But he answered her not a word. What did he do? He answered her not a word. Okay, well, he, he didn't even answer her. Initially, he didn't even answer her. Right. Right? She said all of that, and he still ignored her. She's a Gentile, might I add. Keep going. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away. Do what? Send her away. Uh -huh. For she cried after us. So Jesus Christ initially didn't answer her. Then the disciples turned around and said, get her up out of here. Right? Right? So now she's trying to cry out to us. She answering you, and now she's trying to talk to us. We don't want to talk to the Gentile. We don't want to deal with her. What else? Verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read it again. So I want them to understand what Jesus Christ himself said. I didn't say this. You didn't say this. You didn't say this. I didn't write it. This is what Jesus Christ himself said. Yep. Go ahead. This is Matthew chapter I 15, verse 24. Read it now. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Right? This Canaanite woman, a Gentile, she believed. I love it. I'm going to keep reading. I love it. 
this Canaanite woman, right? She believed. Bad faith. They ignored her. Initially, then Christ turned around and answered her and said, I'm only sent for the children of Israel. Right? Okay? Right. What do we do with it? Before we keep reading, what do we do with it? Well, we accept it and we keep reading the context. So was Jesus lying? No, he wasn't lying. So he he's was, only sent for the lost sheep. Absolutely speaking fast. So he was only sent for the lost sheep. Only for the lost sheep. But let's get he was only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yes. Wait, wait. Before you answer, ask a question. You got to answer this. Keep reading them. Jesus Christ said he was only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We out here telling. We out here. No, that's not the conversation. That's not the conversation. What's your name? What's your name? Trey. You believe in God? Yeah, I mean, you got a pop in your neck, so I would assume. Okay, you believe in the Bible? What are we talking about? Okay. Yeah. All right. I've been walking with you on this, right? What's your name again? Trey. All right, Trey. So what we're talking about right now is who Jesus Christ came to save. We grew up believing Christ came to save everybody. We just read out of Jesus Christ's own mouth. We got a third with me. So I'm going to read it to you, Trey. Go ahead. For Trey's sake, because Trey coming in on the conversation, then I'm going to carry on. Go ahead. Yeah. This is Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus Christ himself said he's only sent to the children of Israel. He only came for the children of Israel. Does that say the whole world? Can we keep reading though? Like, the children of Israel. Like, like, think about it. Like, I understand, like, where, think about it. Like, everybody want to be a Everybody got a role in the story, Trey. Okay. We gotta go back before Christ to understand fully what was going on. I like Trey. I actually like Trey because the prophets talked about Christ and why He was gonna come and things like that. I'm glad you said that. Give me Isaiah 56. I believe that's 56. 53. I like that, Trey. You in the spirit, Trey. Because we do got to go back to the people who talked about Christ when he was going to come and what his mission was and what he was going to do. Saint. Yeah, hold it, just hold it for Tracy. But I want to finish here. Yes, go ahead. So again, okay, cool. Now again, Jesus Christ said He was only sent for the house of Israel. And I agree with you. I want you to know only, only, only. How the Gentiles fit into it? Let's keep reading. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. He can't answer that. And I, it's actually gonna get worse. Now keep going. I'm asking because I'm letting you talk. I'm letting you talk because then you say I interrupt you. So I'm letting you. But I had just asked you, so you was you was free. Well, I have scripture, but I want you to finish. Oh, you said you would finish the scripture. I was good. Go ahead. Let's do it. Let's do it. Both 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 yeah, we read the same scripture. Right. We are not. We don't. We are not followers of Christianity. Right. We are not followers of Christianity. Sakari. That's the name of our organization, right? The name of our organization is Sakari, but who we are are the Israelites. We are the people, our ancestors, me and yours. You will be a so-called black man, right, Trey? Your father will be a black man too, right? Our ancestors are the people that wrote this book. Did you know that the Jews was called nigga in the Bible? Did you know that? Okay, exactly. This book, our ancestors wrote. Get it through. Now, let me keep going. Verse 25. Then she then came she and peep this out, Trey. Peep this, Trey. And Lauren, peep this. Keep going. Verse 25. Then came she and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. So even after all of that, she's still begging. She's begging at this point. Keep going. Verse 26. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread. Who's the children? Who's the children? Okay. It's not me, meaning it's not proper to take the children's bread. What's the children's bread? Wait, no, 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 no. He's about to say it. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Keep no, no, no. reading. He's about to say it. No, no, no. Yes, it is. Because she had a demon. Did you know that? Look, the woman. Let me give context to the story here. The woman brought her daughter who had a demon. I love Jesus. this. Jesus said, I, 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 I want to 
want to know too, like what's the, what's the, what's the friction? You know what I'm saying? Like what's the? Well, they believe they. I believe what the Bible says. I don't go based off of how I feel. I go based off of what God himself said. Well, what about, what about, what about, what about, what about, what about, what You got there. No. It's, it's, it's only one. It's, it's, it's the Savior. Yeah, they got a spirit in the soul. I'm saying there's only one Savior. It's Jesus Christ, right? And He only came to save, be a Savior for one people. One people group only. How y'all feel about like? I mean, you know, I know this is kind of over the field, but how y'all feel about like? Islam. He's free to believe believe in Islam and worship Allah. Our people don't need to worship Allah. Right? We believe in Christ of the Bible. We believe in Christ of the Bible that look like me and you, the black man. Not these Y'all want to say, like, putting the white man is the Islam. Like, Let me ask you a question. I'm going to answer your That's a good question. I asked you a question. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about I asked you, what's the choosers' bread? I'm going to let Jesus Christ tell you who the bread is. Go ahead. Can I, can I uh, you going to let Jesus Christ speak? I don't have a chance. You haven't let me You asked me, though. You told me to keep reading. No, you asked me just now. But you say you didn't know. You, you won't let me answer, bro. But you say you didn't know. That's not fair. You say you didn't know. You asked me if I can answer. I can't even answer. Okay, I ain't gonna ask That's why I said it's cool. Yeah, so can I answer? What's the children's What is the children's Let me answer what you, let, let me answer that, let me answer that question. Answer that. Yeah, go ahead. The context of this story is the, the woman brings her daughter. I asked him a simple question. I said, what is the children's brace? That's all I want to know. You're allowed to answer with elaborate answers and context. Yeah, so why, why don't you let me answer with elaborate? Yeah, why don't you let me? That's not, that's not intellectually fair. You're not being precise. You're not being intellectually honest. I asked him a simple question. What's the brace? Can I give you? Can I build up to it? I said, what is it? I didn't even finish reading. Keep in mind, I didn't finish reading the whole thing. But he's going to talk about all of it anyway, and I ain't even finished reading. So go ahead. Story goes, she brought her daughter who had a demon inside her. A demon possessed her. She said, Jesus, will you heal my, heal my daughter? She, she has a demon. Jesus said, no. The, uh, uh, she said, the children, uh, the children's bread belongs to the children of Israel. Right? Now, you ask, what is that bread? It is what I would... But I think, I'm, I'm being intellectually honest. What you think? It is deliverance. You say what you it think. is deliverance, which means that this is the delivery from that demon. Because when you read the Wait, 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 wait. wait. That you, don't make sense. When you finish the story, he ends up casting okay, the devil out of us. Bread, you, said, you said the bread we belongs to the children of Israel. And now, somehow, some way, that bread is to deliver a little bit of heathen from the demon. How did that make sense? Well, that, if you read the rest of the story, that's what happened. Now can I answer? Well, no, like, if you read the rest of the story, though, she gets delivered. That woman's daughter gets delivered. I know how it is. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get to the point of who is the bread. Why are you denying the fact that Jesus did a miracle for a Gentile? I, I didn't deny that. You didn't even but, let me finish. You see how I said he didn't let me finish. You're making it seem like Jesus didn't do miracles. You didn't let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me that was one account right there. Though. It's only that's the only account. Okay. That's enough, though. That's enough. That's enough. He did millions. Because you're claiming that anyway, he owns. Now let me ask this. Pico, Pico, can I ask you? He did not change our woman though. You can't deliver her from anything. Uh, what? I mean, he didn't, he didn't, Trey, Trey, can I ask a point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't make that claim. Now, Pico. If you say there's only one savior and one people, Pico. then why did he deliver a Gentile woman's daughter? I have another thing to say. Can I answer it? Like can I answer it? Pico, 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 can I answer it? Pico, Pico, you just asked me. I'll let, can the, jury, answer? I'll let the jury decide. Say, you just asked me. Can I answer it? I'll let the jury decide. I'm going to answer it anyway. This is what Jesus Christ said the bread is. Keep in mind, he didn't answer it. I'm asking him, who is the children's bread? Right? This is what Jesus Christ is going to say himself, what the bread is. They said it's deliverance. What did Jesus Christ say? 
And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He's what? I am the bread of life. He's what? I am the bread of life. Now it's delivery. I am the bread of life. Jesus Christ himself. He said, I'm the bread, nigga. I mean, me, me. So in sentence, I'm the bread. Hold on, hold on, Trey. Hold on, Trey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We can't let everybody go on the spiel. Everybody relax. Everybody relax. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna let my team God go. All right, hold on. Can I say one last thing? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I don't want you to say something and not address what Jesus Christ is no, saying. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is, the is he the bread of life? Yes, he's the bread. Is he the, the children's bread? I, wait, wait. He, is Jesus Christ the he, bread he the that's bread. for the children of Israel? This is, thing. is he the he bread the for bread. the children of Israel? Want, for the children of Israel. There you go. But again, that's where we That's all we say. If you believe the Jews' religion, they don't necessarily mean you change your ethnicity. That's like me saying, I believe in Allah. I'm not now an Arab. That's crazy. Am I black? Am I black? No. Exactly. I haven't changed. I haven't changed. If I believe in Allah, which is the Arab man's religion, somehow, some way, I ain't a black man no more. I'm an Arab man. I can't go to China and believe in Buddha. I can learn the way. But they don't make me that. Get the get on the train here. He's intelligent. And he, he got his thinking cap on. He has his thinking cap on. Okay, before I go, can I go ahead, Okay, so I have two things about the Bible. Can I another account of Jesus delivering someone? What about the woman at the well? Can we read it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yes. Wait, what part? Can, the woman at the well. Yes, but I want to say Put it up. Put it up in John. Says, what did he John for? I don't have one. I don't have one. But, because that's what but, I'm about to say. But I want to read it for it. Like, the okay, brother Trey may not know. Can you read it just to take it when I leave? I'm going to read what you think. No, I'm just, I'm just paraphrasing real fast. She said concise and he said concise real quick. So basically, he meets this woman at the well who has had six husbands. Okay. And she's on her sixth husband at the time. Now makes her a what? Yeah, she's a prostitute. Yeah, she's a prostitute. Okay. So basically, he meets this woman at the well. Okay. Six husbands. Six husbands. Okay. Six husbands. Okay. Six husbands. Okay. Six husbands. Okay. He's gonna give her everlasting water. Everlasting water. And What's her ethnicity? Samaritan. Let me show you. Go She's ahead, read it. Let me read. She's a Samaritan. I'm gonna show you. Oh, first page, John 4, and I'm gonna start it up. And that, did you know that? Go, go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. Then said the woman of Samaria. Yeah. Then the woman, then said the woman of Samaria to him, How is it? How is it that thou go up a little bit? Verse six. Go ahead. Now, uh, uh, going six. Now, Jacob well was there. Jesus, therefore, being weary with the journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about uh, the sixth hour. There cometh the woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then he said the one, woman of Samaria unto him, How did thou be a Jew? Ask drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria. But the Jews have no dinner with the Samaritans. She don't know the back history because she never read the book of Kings. The book of Kings already told you that the, the, the southern kingdom of Israel were beefing against the northern kingdom. Wait, 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 wait. The southern kingdom of Israel, these tribes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, was beefing up against the northern kingdom of Israel. You fit into that, he fit into that, and he fit into that. It was the blacks against the Hispanics. Ironically, you see the same thing going on today. Ironically, right? Yeah. Well, they was beefing. So she's saying, why are you finna come and give me some water? The Jews don't even come and talk to us. How do you want to Because the Jews the said that we don't want to deal with the, with the Northern Kingdom, right? Because we felt like the Northern Kingdom had fell away from God. We don't rock with them. Let them go their own way. But let's keep going. Though. Jesus also said to her, if thou knowest the gift of God, and who is it that said to thee, give me drink, Thou would have gave, uh, gave act of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast not I mean nothing to draw with, and the well is deep from which thou hast that I means like it. When they thou hast that I right, okay, I'm going to go slow. Alright, go back. One. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep from hence when thou hast that living water. 
Or that or where is this living water that you're talking about, Lord? Like, we don't have a bucket to catch this living water out. What is she what did he, uh, 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 she go on to say? Are thou greater than our father Jacob? Our who? Father, father Jacob. Jacob. Our who? Father, father Jacob. Jacob. She's our is another possessive term. Yeah. She said, are you better than That's our right. father? She's having a conversation with him. She's letting him know we are the same people. That's right. Our father. We have the same father. There's no reason for her to say our father if she's not a, a descendant of Jacob. I have a question. Though. So this woman at the well was an Israelite. Good. I just gave you the backstory on why they want it. You after I read this, go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. Bring it out. But Israel shall be saved in the in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. The same verbiage that's being used in the book of John, chapter 3. Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation. Keep going. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. A what? World without end. The, the, literally, the Israelites are their own world. They're their own world. And they said that they're going to have everlasting salvation. The same way in John 3, 16, they said these same people are going to have everlasting salvation. This world. Come on, man. We got to make it make sense. We believe 
you what the Bible says. Okay, we're about to give you Bible. So, Babylon. She was not a god. So who? Do you know who that is? Seventy-four. You can read this for yourself. You can go and look this up. This is Acts eleven and twenty. 
They said that they was preaching to the Grecians, these Greeks. Okay? The Greek word here is Hellenistan. Show them, show them, so you don't think I'm lying. This is the Greek word. We just pulled it up. Right? Yeah. Now give me the definition. You may have to zoom out. I don't know if it's uh, okay, cool. Hellenistan. Hey. So listen. One who inter in, um, Im imitates. One who imitates the matter of customs or the worship of the Greeks. They imitate mean they act like Greeks. They aren't real Greeks. They act like Greeks. What else? And and the use of the Greek tongue. B. Used in the New Testament of Jews. Of who? Of Jews. Of who? Of Jews. Of who? Of Jews born in foreign lands and speaking Greek. That's literally what I'm trying to tell him. That these Greeks that Paul was talking to was Israelites who was conformed into the way of the Grecians. That's right. And the Greeks. That's right. You had to go and tell them and bring them out of it. Wait, have you heard about the Maccabees? The book of Maccabees? You, you was in Catholic school. Okay, so you know about the Maccabees history. Okay. So let me teach you something. Right? Is that fine if I say I teach you something? Is it fine if I teach you something? Okay, cool. During the time of the Maccabees, during the time of the Maccabees, this is right before Christ came. Wait, we I don't want to get but I, I'm just, but I just I, want to go back to our school and putting it together. Okay. I understand that, but after, after you read me the definition, like, I listened, I didn't interrupt, and I like, I'm never going to But I wasn't done. I'm literally in the middle. So, okay, can I reply to it? Yes. Okay. I'm going to let you reply, most definitely. To what I said. Don't go on something else. Well, you're, what well, you're going to ask because you didn't look up the scripture that I asked for that. You looked up she already had. You looked up Greece. Did you hear my definition? You looked up Greece. I'm talking about. So what is he talking about? He said he was not saying that because you did hear my definition. Right? You heard the definition. Yeah. It's agree with the definition. Crazy. This is the point I'm trying to make. Uh, I, I'm That's crazy to disagree with the definition. That's literally what it means. I didn't say you wasn't going to hear. I said that you're gonna put it in you just got a position and a role to play in here. I don't yeah, say that. Yeah, that is being possessed by you. Did God say that or did I say that? God said it. Okay, cool. Well, say, say, you, your, your beef isn't with me, Lauren. Your beef is with God. Because I didn't say that. Now, can I finish my spiel now? Now, during the time of the Maccabees, the Greeks, more Caucasians, might I add, Caucasians was fighting up against the Jews and they was forcing the Jews to stop obeying their ways and their customs and their culture and start being Greeks. So now they're calling themselves Corinthians. Now they're calling themselves uh, Galatians. Now they're calling themselves Romans. Now they think they're calling themselves after all the Colossians and things of that nature because the Greeks came and took them into slavery, forced them into their religion and their customs. Now Paul has to be sent out to come and get them out of their doctrine. Get them out of their way of life to come back to being a Jew. And so why it said that the term Grecian that was used is in the New Testament is used for a Jew who was converted or living under the ways of the Greeks. So there's no Jew and Gentile. The Gentile is literally talking about another Jew. Okay, can I read it? That's all this, that's it. I know I have a definition too. Can I read it? You know, okay, uh, I'm gonna can you address that though? Yeah, can I do that for you? Can you address that first? Yeah, I will with this. Like, I promise, I promise. You're going to answer directly with that This is the way I respond to that. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm not trying to run away. I'm not trying to run away. And, uh, and they of the circumcision, the Jews, which believe were astonished, as many as can be, because that on the Gentiles, Gentiles also report because of the Holy Ghost. Let, let's see, let's see, no, let's see, let's see, let's see strong. Non-Jewish. You go on, non you go one usually pagan. You go Gentile heathen. Nation people. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Wait, wait, look, look. I'm a Jewy. 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 i am a jewy i you read? I don't know what you're pointing at. Read. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Jim Heathen. You go. A multitude, whether of men, okay, living a company, now human family. Now he want to skip over there. I haven't skipped anything. Read it. You're alive. Read what you Thank you. Y'all show me your intellect. Can I put it on the camera? Can I put it on the camera? Can I put it on the camera? Multitude. Gentle heathen. Pagan. Not Jews. Let me see all this for the camera. Go ahead. Go ahead. You see all this. I love this. Hey, this is good, bro. Cause when he said he trying to play, I got you. But, but this ain't even no, about no. you. He literally said that. I never once lying. said I got him. They'll see that you're lying, bro. I got you. I, got you. I never said okay. I got you. Why didn't you read it? Why didn't you read it? You've been reading all night, but you don't read that. You the one who pulled it up. Not me. No, you pulled it up. Dishonest, I'm intellectually dishonest. You didn't even answer that, Pico. Pico. Hey, Pico. 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 You didn't. You didn't answer that, Pico. And this way, and this is what I mean by Christianity. And white women, white women have this. Look at her. Now she got to go over there to Trey. Trey, 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 Trey. Get Trey. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come here, Trey. Don't do it, Trey. Don't listen to them, Trey. Trey, they've been lying to us already for years, Trey. They don't want you to know the truth. Now she finna go over there and try to uh, make a disciple out of Trey. Now she finna make Trey a disciple. Right? All they do is lie. I thought she was supposed to be going home. Now I gotta go and try to reach another nigga and try to keep that nigga oppressed and, and, uh, uh, and up under the oppressor's belief in religion. That's what she's over there doing, right? Pico a coon too. Pico is, is selling out against his fellow uh, Mexican brothers and sisters, right? But every time they get a white woman or a white man, our people sell out every single time. This is why we gotta get away from these people. We get the shucking and jiving, cooning and selling out. The moment we get a white woman or a white man, every time. And I don't like that. I don't like that. And I really don't like that Trey gonna sit up there and listen to that, but he don't wanna come over here though. Right, because we believe and we obey. Master, we love Master. Even the white woman was Master too, as quiet as he's kept. The white woman was Master too on that plantation. She had a, well let, let that white woman come over there and say something to Master about you doing something. Even if it was a lie, she could be lying, and your nigga ass was dead. Right. She was more a master than the actual white man, as quiet as he's kept. Go do the history. Go do the history on it, right? And go look up white Spanish conquistadors, as quiet as they kept. They was coming over here, conquering, and doing robbing and murdering too, right? The same way the white man was doing the same thing, right? And this is why we got to be delivered from this place. This is why we got to be delivered out of the hands of our oppressors. Because what sense does it make to be saved with the oppressor? It don't make sense. I don't want you. I really don't want you in the kingdom of heaven at all. But God said, <laughs> God said, so I'm not going to go against what God said. If we want to go off with how a nigga feel, I don't want you there at all. <laughs> to be honest. But I'm cool with you being there because God said you had a role and I got a role. I need a good slave. I need a good handmaid and a servant. And a lot of times people have problems with God. That's people's problem. They hate the almighty God, right? And what he said. And they'll put their feelings over what God said. And look at Trey. Put the panic camera on Trey. I thought they had to go home. Trey. It's a girl, uh, her, her, dad, her daddy. She's a child of Israel. Yeah, what's up, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Trey, what we here to let you know, you a God on this earth, right? And your woman too. She comes from the lineage of Israel too. It's not about uh, your skin color. According to the Bible, you are who your father is, not only of course it's about the biology tells you that too. Me and you, we carry the seed, don't it? And we put our seed in the woman, right? So whoever I am, she's nurturing up what came out of me. Women are like the earth, and we just the seed. The same way you get an apple seed, and you put it in the ground, is it gonna come out an orange tree? No, it's gonna come out an apple seed. Okay, so that's what it's like. You are who your father is. You're a child of Israel, and she is too. And we the best people on this earth. And we have to be saved from them. 
That's the point. We have to be saved from our enemies. Ain't the white man been our enemy all this time, Trey? So that's why I don't work for the white man. I don't know that. I'm telling you, if y'all don't got that out, I do want to take the time out of God. I got to promote. Look, y'all trying to get tatted, man. Oh, 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 oh,
Keep going. Now he did. That's a great question too, sir. How do y'all deal with being around people that don't think the same mind as y'all? Or do y'all just exclude them out of life? How you feel? That's a good joke. That's a great question, Trey. That's a powerful question, Trey. All right, I'm going to show you what Jesus Christ said about that. Trey, Trey asked a good question, huh? And Jesus answered and said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, they that are whole need not a physician, meaning you healthy. But he ain't literally meaning healthy in that way. He's talking about people that are sinners, people that don't know the right way, and things of that nature. He said, They that be whole need not a physician. Those who know to keep the commandments, they don't need nobody to come and tell them to keep the commandments. But the, but what? But they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous. But sinners to repent to do what? But sinners to repent. He came to, to call the sinners to repentance. Meaning somebody got to be there to be the light for them. Somebody got to be over there and be like, hey, brother, we can't be doing this. Right? Before I came into what I knew, right, I used to sell dope. That was my lifestyle. Right? We got brothers up here. We all had diverse lifestyles that we was living. Some niggas was dope dealers. Some niggas was robbers. Some niggas was gang bangers. We was all living different kind of lifestyles. Right? But then once we learn better by way of keeping the commandments, that lifestyle you was talking about, the lifestyle of what God prescribed us to do, I don't sell dope no more. Because I understand and I recognize what that did to my community. Brothers may not rob no more because he understood what they do to the community. Brothers don't gangbang no more because he knew what they was doing to the community. Those ain't positive things. It destroy us. Right? Keep going. Now he did. Because that was a great question. Question. Oh, it was just able to be. Yeah, go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 9, and verse 10. And it came to pass, and Jesus said at meat in the house, Behold, many publicans and sinners and, who? and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. Uh -huh. Verse 11. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? So these people asked him, Why are you over there hanging out with the sinners? Ask the Christ there. Why are you hanging out with these people? Now he ain't hanging out with them, acting like them, and becoming like them. Christ ain't that selling dope. You know what I'm saying? Christ ain't that uh, being an adulterer. You know, he trying to be in uh, that Trey Song spirit, Mr. Steal Your Girl. He ain't moving like that. No, he got to tell them, no, bro. We ain't moving like that no more, because we kings and gods on this earth. Go ahead. Now we go to the courts, you know what I'm saying? We go, like, man, we still just don't sing, you know what I'm saying? Like, we drink, you know, party, you know? We be popping out, we be down here. We be popping out right down the street. Yo, I respect what y'all doing. It takes courage, it takes, you know, strength to be able to. Come out here. Where nobody really care about you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's best to put yourself in as much of this as you possibly can. You're the spirit, right? And you're right, though. We out here bold and courageous because that's the spirit that God gave us. That's the same spirit you got, too, Trey. We want you on this side. You should be holding this mic, too. That's right. That's you know right. what I'm saying? You're supposed to be telling the people too. Because we supposed to be the revolutionaries of our community. Somebody gotta be the revolutionary to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah, we once made a part took in the downfall of it, but today it's time to make now, nah, bro. We don't want it like that. Right? We're here to love our women, love our children, right? Stay with our women, right? And etc. Love your brother, things of that nature, build with each other. That's what we do. Right? This is the name of our organization, right? But we ain't just here in Memphis. We got brothers in Atlanta, California. Brothers all the way in up, uh, 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 uh. What's down there in South America, uh, Quadon? Peru? What? Peru and Puerto Rico? What? So, I knew y'all come together. What made y'all feel like y'all wanted to come together? Because, you know, you know, I guess when it, I guess in the midst of when 
division seems to be a big thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, so the spirit, literally. So all of us wanting just want to, wanting to do the work of the most I got. Yeah, there's just the spirit. It just led us and, and it captivates you to go and do it. You know what I'm saying? And then now it's just a fire burning in you. And now it's just, you can't resist it. Now it's like, dang. And now I look at him like I look at myself. Now it's like, dang, I ain't gonna do him like that because I want him to be in a good position like I want to be in a good position. Same way, like I said, I didn't always know this brother, right? But I don't know you like that. This is my first time interacting with Trey. But I love Trey like I love myself. I'll see you, if I see you down the way, just in passing. I don't want to hurt my nigga Trey. That's my brother. You see what I'm saying? Now I want Trey to prosper. I want him to go back home and make it to it, make it back home to his girl. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. No. Me and Trey, we gonna pop out. We gonna have us a good time, and we gonna both make it back home to our women. You know what I'm saying? That's what we moving like. And the spirit compelled us to do this. That's how it is. The same spirit that worked in you. You can do it too, Trey. It's one day at a time. Like it's one day at a time. We gonna get there. As long as we get there, uh, slow motion is better than no motion. So that's all that matters, Trey. <laughs> Praise the Almighty. Yeah. Did we give him? Uh, give him another. Give him another. Give him another. I don't care. Give him another. Give him and his woman one, so they got two of them. Praise the Almighty. Trey, we love you, brother. We love you, Trey. Right, you be careful, Trey. Too, Trey. And that's what we're here to do. That's all we're here to do. So our uh, people love. Give us one of Trey and uh, his woman a hand, man. Right? Beautiful family. Be beautiful black couple, man. We need more beautiful black couples in this, in this world. <laughs> Alright, y'all too, Trey, man. Right? We love you, brother. We love you, brother. Right? And that's all we're here to do, man. Show love, spread love to our people, right? Tell them to repent and be converted. Keep the commandments and, and let the Spirit of God move you and work within you. And you can be doing the same thing that we doing. Right? And with that, we're gonna say call halal. Yeah, how about Shimia Shah? Shalom. Before you cross Yasha, I'll look both ways. Standing no scripture, nigga. We ain't ducking no phase. A lot of y'all niggas just be freestyling out here. Where the scripture at? Nigga. Book, chapter, verse. That's what I need from now on. Where the scripture at?